Hey Pillar parents, um, this is just a short video for you. Um, I've been reading a really great book, one that is more for the philosophical level of children's ministry. Um, it is called Children's Spirituality, Bridging Theory and Practice. But I wanted to specifically read to you a just short section um, about um, seeing God at work and taking time for those moments with our kids. And I was thinking about this because you are on adventures this summer looking for God with your kids on adventures. And, you know, I wanted to read this because it's a great reminder that it doesn't have to be anything fancy or formal. Um, that God is at work in our backyards and we just have to be willing to look for him. So I'm going to read to you just a few paragraphs um, of the author's own experience encountering God. And I hope that it serves of some inspiration and encouragement to you. One summer day after I retold the parable of the treasure hidden in the field to our four-year-old granddaughter and the story was folded neatly back into our gold parable box, she suggested it would be fun to go outside and dig for hidden treasure in our backyard. Thinking quickly, I responded, of course, but how about we dig with our eyes and hands and not with a shovel? Off we went into our very tiny backyard in search of treasure. And what did we find? Tiny flowers hidden among the blades of grass and tiny insects that gave us lots to discuss about God's amazingly diverse creation. We found spider webs and lovely flat stones. We looked at butterflies and birds, which caused us to sit quietly for a while by the fountain and to watch to see if any hummingbirds might come and bathe there. It turned out that it was not exactly the time of day for hummingbirds to bathe. So I suggested she wake me up early in the morning and we would go out to watch for hummingbirds. Around six o'clock a.m. the next day, I awoke to see two little eyes peering into my face at close range. Ah, yes, now I remembered. So quietly, I poured my necessary for treasure hunting cup of coffee and we sat oh so quietly and waited. It was a magical moment, probably more so for me than for her to sit reverently beside the fountain in the early summer morning while everyone else in the house was still asleep, watching and waiting for one of God's kingdom treasures, a tiny hummingbird to appear. We were not disappointed. Several showed up and we pondered anew the treasures of the kingdom hidden in a field, or in this case, a suburban backyard. Our lives together can easily become blurry when our focus is distracted. We really want to be the ideal family, but life and too many choices demand our attention. Too many good options and too many directions pull families apart. In a culture that puts value on consumerism, entertainment, and the proliferation of choice, distraction is inevitable, keeping us focused on the mundane of life and keeping our eyes off the extraordinary. Seeking treasures and experiencing reverence does not just happen, unless we are being intentional about paying attention and willing to take detours in our busy lives. In her book, An Altar in the World, Barbara Brown Taylor gives the example of Moses and the burning bush. Moses was busy tending his father-in-law's sheep. As he was guiding the sheep down the trail, a flash of light caught his eye. He could have thought, that's interesting. I should come back and check that out when I'm not so busy. Or he might have been so focused on his job that he walked by without even noticing. But the scripture says Moses stopped, left his flock, and walked toward the burning bush where he encountered God. How many burning bushes have you and your children missed in your hurry to get from point A to point B? How many encounters with the living God? How many tiny flowers in the grass or hummingbirds bathing in the fountain? There are times when my granddaughters and I intentionally take detours and sometimes get lost. I confess I am more intentional with grandchildren than I was when my children were growing up. I guess grandchildren are a sort of do-over, a chance to recapture all the things we wish we'd done when our children were young. Paying attention and taking detours provides those family stories that so richly connect us to one another, providing us with, remember when? opportunities for years to come. They are lessons in truth, the true worth of relationships, the true value of being intentionally unhurried. The demands of daily life will always be there, piling on more and more, 
but moments of reverence and moments of getting lost in discovering treasures may easily remain undiscovered if we don't watch out for them. So families, I hope that you are looking out for those God sightings and those hidden treasures and the way that God is at work, even in the mundane. Have a great day.